Hi, this is Akami from Geek Dinks, and it's time to show off our Washington State Summer Con Hall. Now, we were recently able to go to a Comic Con, and it was held at the Washington State Fairgrounds in Puyallup. It was our first con back since COVID had shut everything down, and so it was really fun to get out and be among our people. So let's see what we got. Now, we purchased the VIP package, so that meant we got some goodies. So we got this bag. Uh, actually, we got two of these bags because we are each a VIP member. And as to get an idea of the scale of this bag, I am five foot six. Wearing this bag on my shoulder, it was almost dragging on the ground. I imagine there were a lot of people who were not able to carry this bag on their shoulder. So this particular bag is celebrating 80 years of Batman. And it actually has different characters featured on each side. So it's actually a really cool bag. Unfortunately, it is enormous, so I don't know that we're gonna get a lot of use out of it. But it was fun to walk around the vendor's room carrying this giant bag. So let's see what else we got for being VIP members. We got two exclusive prints of Spider-Man, and then we also got t-shirts. So I got this t-shirt. We were able to choose from two different styles. I picked out the red one, and then J.P. Barnett, in order to not clash with his red beard, picked out a blue one. And this particular shirt, they're actually really good quality shirts. This is a this is a Hanes beefy tee, so it's really a nice thick t-shirt. And then mine's also a nice shirt. I don't often wear t-shirts that aren't fitted for women, but I actually really like this t-shirt, so I will get a lot of wear out of it, I'm sure. And then, because we also bought the Katie Sackoff VIP package, we also got an exclusive print with Katie Sackoff in her Bo-Katan Mandalorian outfit, and we got a photo op with her and an autograph. So this is a really fun thing that we like to do when we go to Comic Cons. We have an autograph book that we keep all of our photographs in. So this will be going into our book. Also as part of our VIP packages, we each got a Summer Con pin and we actually got a third Summer Con pin for buying the Katie Sackoff VIP package. So we've got a couple of these. So from the vendor's room, we picked up some shower bombs from the fracking bombs booth. Uh, we've used one of them already. Uh, if you don't have a typical shower with a shower drain, then these do end up going down the bathtub drain pretty quickly, but the first few minutes is a pretty awesome experience. So I'm looking forward to using the rest of these. And then from a booth that I didn't pick up a card from, unfortunately, I picked up a bag. Now I am a knitter, so I love having cute little bags for carrying around my projects in and my tools in. For this particular bag, it's got some adorable Star Trek print, complete with little tribbles. And from the same booth, I also picked up this scrunchie, which is also adorable, and it's got the porgs from Star Wars on it. So as you can see, I am an equal opportunity Star Trek Star Wars fan. We do exist. And then from the R.H. Potter booth, who is an artist, I picked up a few goodies. I first picked up some stickers because they are adorable, and I have taken up bullet journaling, so I go through quite a few bullet journals and I like to personalize them with stickers on the cover, so I picked up some stickers. And then later I circled back and they have a lot of the artwork put onto tote bags. So I picked up this tote bag. And again, as a knitter, I'm always on the lookout for bags for carrying around my projects in. So I really like this, that it is a tote bag. And then our last thing that we picked up is actually a mystery box. It comes from Stylin and at their booth, they actually had all kinds of different themed boxes and we went to buy one and they don't actually give you the box there. So we ordered it and it has arrived finally. Here we have the mystery box and we picked out the Marvel theme. So let's see what they sent us. So it did actually arrive in the themed box. You can see it's got different characters on the different sides of the box. And this particular one is specifically for uh, Marvel Avengers Infinity War. So let's open it up. So this is a fleece blanket, and I can tell you it is a lightweight fleece blanket, just holding it. And it looks like it has a picture of the whole cast uh, on this blanket. So that's actually a really fun thing. I use a lot of blankets. J.P. Barnett likes to keep the AC always cranked down pretty low, so I am constantly using blankets wherever I am at in the house. So I will get very good use out of this. So next up, I've got an Infinity War lanyard. And it looks like it actually has a little Avenger symbol here. So that's pretty fun. Something that you could put either on this lanyard or maybe on a keychain uh, or on a zipper pull. So I may use that. 
So these are Doctor Strange socks, complete with capes, because every sock needs a cape. So these are fun. Uh, I don't know, the capes are a little bit interesting. I'll have to see if those bother me when I wear them. But uh, these are fun knee-high socks. Okay, this is too cute. This is an angry rocket raccoon holding his gun pillow. I'm not sure if I will use this, but it is adorable. Mystery Marvel box. So as you can see, this is my very own Infinity Gauntlet complete with all of these stones. So don't mess with me, I am all powerful. And keeping with the theme of the angry rocket raccoon, we have a keychain. This is fun. And the last item, another mystery box. <sighs> Just what every Marvel fan needs. A coffee mug with Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet on it. Again, complete with the Infinity Stones. I, I, I don't know. I have no words for this. This is awesome, but also uh, kind of impractical with this giant hand on it. So I'll have to see if I actually end up using this mug. But this is kind of epically awesome. So if you've ever wondered what's in these mystery boxes, if you've ever seen them at a Comic-Con, now you know. And I have to say that I think we got a really good value for the money. The box cost us $50, $10 in shipping, and this is definitely more than $50 worth of goodies. And half of it is probably things that I will use. The other half, I am friends with a lot of nerdy people, as you might guess. So a lot of these may end up going out to friends who will truly love and appreciate them. So that's what we got at the Washington State Summer Con. I am looking forward to going to more Comic Cons this year as things open back up. And I will definitely be back at the Washington State Summer Con next year. If you have any questions about any of these products, please feel free to drop them down below in the comments. And I will post a link to the styling company. I'm not sure if you can pick up a mystery box of your own through them or if you have to do it exclusively through Comic-Cons. And if you like watching me show off my Comic-Con haul, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.